In the end of the tutorial, you will be able to add collectibles to the game, which will, for example, make the player faster or heals the player when he got damaged from the enemy. And if you want to support me, just leave a like or a comment, subscribe the channel if you want to see more tutorials like that, and let's go! We start with creating a new scene, which will be an Area 2D scene. This Area 2D scene we'll use as our collectible. We need Bright 2D as a child. And we also need the collision shape as a child. As a direct child of the area 2D, we just define it as a circle. So we say shape, circle, go to the scene. And as a placeholder, we'll just put one of our sprites we do for our collectibles. Right here, I'll make the shape as big as this sprite. The next thing is we need to add a script. This script needs to have three variables and four methods. So this we'll call collectible GD. We save also the scene as collectible.tscn and we need to write the following code. First of all, we'll just define a class. This is a class name collectible. This is just to define every object this world which has this script now will be a collectible as a class. Then the next thing is we'll need to write three variables. We define export variable, which is a string. We call it type as a string. Here we just define as a string which type this collectible is. We have different types, for example, a heal buff. And we also need two pictures, which will be this one, which we will loading as a constant. So we will left click here on the picture right here. We put it directly inside like this. And now we need four functions which first one is the ready function where we just set the data and we also connect signals these are just the two functions we need to define and ready and as they are not existing yet we need to create them now first we say set data leads to void and we say if type equals equal here this is for our example we have a here and we also have a speed buff you can add whatever collectible you want but we have a here and a speed buff and you can also name them whatever you want so you just exchange the name here to that what your collectible is we say here percent sprite 2d dot texture equals healing sprite and also the same for l if type equals equals speed we say percent sprite 2d dot texture equals speed bar so we just defined this two sprites um the textures which will be set at the, at the beginning whenever we write for example heal inside here of this scene then it will loading this sprite we write speed inside then it will loading this one and if we don't write anything and inside then we will just not change it when we not write anything then it will not change the sprite um that this person sprite 2d will work properly we just need to right click the sprite here in the scene and say access as unique name this makes this sprite 2d just accessible from everywhere in this scene doesn't matter if we just rearrange the order for example we just say okay now we need the sprite as a direct child of the collision shape this doesn't matter anymore because we can just directly call it with this person as this name sprite 2d in this scene is unique and just existing once so this is always a better use case then for example use get node and then pass to the sprite as you always have to rearrange your code the third function we need to add is the connection from the signals so we say connect signals because we want that something happens when the player is running in the inside this collectible so we say just simply connect body entered with collect and now we need the function collect now we also define a body here as a flag because this body entered function right Right here this signals sends something this body entered signal sends data through like a body as a node to the so we also need to define it here that this function will be called with this signal and we just say directly if body is player if type equals equals here we say body dot update else or we say five for example we want that the player will call five life points when he is running into the heel and also equals equals speed then we say body dot speed buff and at the end of both we say q3 that means we'll just delete the scene um both types will call different function in the player scene so this one will update the health this one is already 
already existing from the tutorial before, update health and then the life points will be increased or decreased by the amount we just defined here in this flag and then we'll just update the value of the player progress bar above the head. But the speed buff uh, function is not existing yet and this is something what we need to define now as this collectible scene is finished. We just go over to the player scene where we need to change a bit so that the speed buff will work properly that we have to just add a timer to the scene. This I'll explain later why we do that and this timer we also write as this one here so we have the variable timer or we can also do it the same way and we just right click the timer access as unique name and then we do it this way so in ready we just say percent timer dot connect we say timeout and we connect it with speed buff end so whenever this timer is timed out then we call a function speed buff end this is not existing yet this will right now so we need to say func speed bar first we create the function which will increase the speed of the player so we call it speed bar for example so we say speed equals 200 so we change the current speed from 100 to 200 and then we say if not timer dot is stopped so right now we just check if there's a running timer at the moment and if this is not the case then we'll keep going with the variable new time equals timer dot time left plus three that means that when we have current timer which will run at the moment we just add three seconds to this running timer otherwise when we don't do that then we just set it to another three seconds but we don't uh, we lose the two seconds remaining from the timer before so we just add it to time left which is currently left from the current timer we just add three and we also want to say that this timer starts again with the new time so for example when we have a running timer which is for example two seconds and it's just count down then here we add the three seconds from the new bar and then we start the timer new with the time left plus the three from the new bar otherwise when there's no timer existing yet we just say timer dot start and three seconds okay first of all we'll create a function which will be a speed bar which leads to void to make it cleaner and we just increase the speed 200 but this is not for infinity we just want it for three seconds so we just say if not percent timer dot is stopped so we just check if we already have a currently running timer and if this is the case we want to calculate the current time new because we want to add three seconds more to the current buff so we say variable new time we get the current time from the timer so we say time person timer dot time left plus three seconds and then we say we start the timer again with the new calculated time we still have left person timer dot start and we say new time otherwise when there's no timer running at the moment we just say person timer dot start three seconds that's it for this function and now we still need the function speed buff and which leads also to void and the only thing what we do is we stop the timer timer dot stop and we reset the speed to 100 whenever the speed is over so the only thing what we need to do now is to go to our scene i just prepared this map here and we just add a few collectibles the collectible tscn this one for example and this one for example we just need to set them to have a type as default i have speed right now but we say this one is here and this one is speed and we duplicate them multiple times you can do that with Control d and we just add a few to the world so and when we start this game now we should see all the different collectibles these are the speed bars and these are the heals and i just got a bit of damage from this enemy and as you can see here when we just run into this one we will got healed from the heal and when we run into the speed buff we got speed and this is for three seconds at the moment so as you can see here when we run into this one and then this one and then this one we should have like see we should have like 15 seconds now we are running 
as you can see here it's just stacked up and this will also run out at this moment i hope i can help you with this tutorial if you want to support me with something like this you can just easily leave a like or a comment if you have any questions to this function or if you want to see more tutorials like this just subscribe the channel this will support me a lot thanks for watching and hopefully see you again